Sorry to cut you. Are you both Christians or? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, because I, I, I was listening to that conversation. Were you all part of that conversation? Or? Sorry? I was listening to that conversation there, but were you all part of that conversation as well? Yeah, yeah, we start, but I really don't, don't really want to argue with this man. Okay. There's no point to argue if someone doesn't have heart to seek the God. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I'm not a Christian. I'm not a Christian myself. But there are a lot of things that I don't agree with the Christian like doctrine or the theology. And from what I just overheard is that they were talking about Jesus, the, de the deification of Jesus being God. And that's something that I don't agree with. I, I don't agree that a man can be God. I mean, maybe you can justify this belief, I don't know. But for me, it's, it, it seems very illogical that a man 2000 years ago was walking in Palestine he was eating, he was drinking, you know, he he did everything like a human being, but then you you believe that he's God. It, for me, it doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, uh, let me tell you, you understand? the Quran says that Jesus was blameless, yeah? Mm, sorry? The Quran says that Jesus was blameless. Blameless? In, yeah. Yes, the uh, Quran yeah, says that, yeah? yeah? But, yeah. So only God can be blameless, that's incorrect, is it? No, no, no. Listen, no? In the Bible, right? No, in, tell me. no I'm, I'm responding I'm responding okay. to you I'm responding we believe that the that the prophets they do not commit major sins what that means? Sin, major sin. sins no, major hold on, sins, uh, hold on. Sin. I'm gonna sin explain I'm gonna explain myself right when I say the prophets when I say the prophets don't do me you're going I'm going to speak with the Jewish gentleman it's up to you, you want to buy it? It's up to you. you know. Guess you can tell you, she knows Jesus. That's fine. Jesus, so. That's fine. Yeah. So anyway, as, as I was saying, right, I don't believe that the prophets of God, because they were chosen by God. Like for example, Prophet David. Do you believe David is a prophet of God? Okay. What is the role of a prophet? What, what is, why does God assign prophethood to, to these people? What is they, the purpose behind it? They uh, bringing people like uh, message. What they supposed to they con supposed to convert and co come away from the bad uh, ways and stuff like that. I agree with you, but they're supposed to be good examples, right? Uh, not necessarily because they are humans. So, so why would God choose? Okay, that's okay. So why would God choose sinful people to guide a sinful nation? For example, you know David. In a, in a, David committed adultery, right? Is this something that is praiseworthy? What is the punishment for adultery in a, in a, in a, in the old in the Torah? Now I'm asking you, what is the what is the punishment for adultery? The punishment of sin is the death. No, no, no. What is the punishment for adultery? Sin is sin. Adultery or uh, I don't know. Thief, they, they, no. The punishment for adultery. Is stoned into death. Was David stoned to death for, for what he did? I never heard about this, to be honest. The, through the Bible, what the Bible says. He had he had a relationship with Bathsheba, right? And then as a result of that, he had he, he committed adultery while he was married, right? So if you can tell me, what example is David setting as a prophet of God? Because you said earlier that the prophets of God, they are an example to the people. Tell me what example or good example is from committing adultery while you're married. What, what, what can I learn from this? Nothing. Exactly. So, but what, what, what does that show? That shows, sorry, that shows if, and I agree with you 100%. What can I learn from a man who committed adultery, right? He is basically cheated on his own wife behind her back. What example, if I was living in the time of David, right? I'm not going to learn anything from this. If anything, if I follow in his footsteps, I will be stoned to death. So therefore, I will argue that the Bible cannot be the word of God. Because why would God choose a representation and the representative is the most, the worst example? It, 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 it's, it's illogical to me. So what I'm saying, right, is that in terms of 
this is the and I was over listening to that conversation before, right, about Jesus being God. I would argue that there is no evidence that Jesus ever made this claim. And I would ask you, if there is any evidence, then you need to demonstrate this because. Okay, I yes, I can. You're not Do you have any pain or sickness in your body? At this moment in time? No. I can pray for all people when they're getting healed. In the name of Jesus. Oh my God. Sorry, my bag is a bit heavy. Sister, so, how does that prove. What I believe. No, but how does that prove Jesus is God if you pray for him? I don't understand. Is what the Bible says. It's like the trueness of the Bible, yeah. And what the Bible says, when the Adam and Eve they, they uh, disobey God, the wage of the sin is death. If someone has to die for our sin. And the old covenant, they were killing animals, yeah. They were giving sacrifice. The blood was needs to be dead. And in the new covenant, Jesus was the sacrifice because he was spotless, blameless, and he could take the sin. He could take my sin. So I don't need. To be punished i don't need to go to the hell because jesus died for me and i'm free and i'm physically free mentally and spiritually and that's it thank you so much wait, wait where are you going where are you going subhanallah assalamu alaikum rahmatullahi wa barakatuh um i was having a, a discussion with the lady and she ran away she literally ran away from the discussion subhanallah may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide her um, we were speaking about the deification of Jesus being God and she failed miserably to answer the question. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open her heart. Um, for those who want to know my channel is Hamza's TV Network. Um, I gave an incorrect description the last time. I said I was wearing blue trousers, but I was actually wearing, I am wearing um, brown trousers. So Hamza's TV Network. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum. Wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.